Hello everyone, my name is Isabel and I am making this video about spring fashion. I am a big fan of fashion in general, but I typically would say that my favorite type of fashion is winter fashion. I really love sweaters, um, big coats, layering turtlenecks with some sweater vests or sweaters or button downs, etc. You get the picture. Um, and while spring is actually my favorite season in general, just I'm actually not a huge fan of spring and summer fashion. So if you're like me, I just kind of wanted to create this video to maybe inspire you and to maybe show what you can do with your wardrobe to make it more spring-like. Um, so let's get started. So the first section is kind of a staple of the spring wardrobe, which would be floral patterns. Now typically I am someone who does not gravitate towards floral patterns because I feel like you can't get a lot of wear out of them. Um, and also I'm very particular about how I want my floral pattern to look. So it's gotta be the right pattern. I don't want the flowers to look ugly, I guess. Um, and I also want it to be the right um, color scheme as well. So it's kind of hard for me to pick out florals that I like, but I just want to show you a couple things and how flower florals can be a little bit more versatile. So the first look I have is this floral dress. This was given to me actually by my sister, so thank you, Haven. And she got it off Amazon, by the way. Um, I would not gravitate towards this myself normally, especially because it's kind of like this dark with brighter colors. I'm usually not a huge fan of roses and floral, but actually I think that this, um, this pattern's really pretty and I really love the fit on me. It's a really long dress and since I'm taller, I really love um, how it looks, um, but also, it has this cute little split in the front. I don't know if I can really show it all the way, but it like opens up. Um, and I also paired it in this look with a pair of some black combat boots to kind of, you know, offset the feminine floral with something a little bit more tough. And I, I don't know, I think that's a cute concept. So the next floral item is this floral top that I got on clearance from Target. I think it was like $12. Um, and so normally, like I said, I wouldn't gravitate towards like floral tops and things, but some things I really loved about it was first of all the, the neckline. It's kind of got this like square neckline to it. Um, and also I really loved the pattern. If you can tell, it's like this um, purple, blue, and green, sagey green kind of um, pot or color scheme, I should say. But also, yeah, I love the, the pattern as well. And it's a bit of a cropped um, top thanks to these um, little ties can cinch it up a little bit. And I don't know, I thought that was kind of fun. So overall, there's a lot going on with this top. It's very versatile, very um, feminine, feminine. Um, and I feel like kind of like a K-pop star when I'm wearing this, I don't know. I feel like this is something that Jisoo from Blackpink would wear. So moving on to our final full look, I have this floral top that I actually kind of DIY'd in a way. So this used to be a dress and the dress became way too short for me and the dress was from Forever 21. Um, and I was going to resell it at um, Arizona Trading Company. That's where I resell a lot of my clothes. But um, I thought, you know what? I really love this pattern. So I'm gonna try and kind of um, upcycle it into something new so that I can wear. I cut off the skirt kind of part and just wear it as a top, um, very much a crop top. But I really just love this pattern. It kind of reminds me of watercolors and it's very pastel. I love it too because it's diverse in that you can wear it, you know, how it's supposed to be worn with the front or I, you can even flip it around and wear it kind of as like a v-neck and it can kind of look like a little bit of a peplum uh, hemline at the front if you uh, wear it this way. So I like the kind of versatility there. Okay, so for this section, it's all going to be centered around these bad boys. That's right, some biker shorts. So I feel like biker shorts have recently become very popular in the past, mm, I wanna say like last spring and summer. So all of these outfits basically will pair um, kind of to show how you can wear different things with just a pair of biker shorts. And I got these from Aerie and on sale as well. I think they're like $14, so, but you can really order them anywhere. So the first look was supposed to be like a band tee, you know, like uh, Metallica or Nirvana 
ACDC, you get the point. Um, and I don't own actually a band shirt. So the closest thing that I had was just this tie-dye shirt of my forensics coach, um, Dustin Remy. Um, but yeah, just like kind of pairing it with some biker shorts and then kind of to zhuzh it up and make it even more punk, you can wear some combat boots with it. I don't know, I think it's a really fun look, especially wearing like the tight shorts with boots. It's very unique, very, um, I don't know, grunge to me. So, um, and then in the next uh, look that I have is kind of another more comfy, casual look. Actually, give me a second, because <laughs> sponsored by Alpha Kai. Um, I actually borrowed one of these sweaty, <laughs> sweaties, sweatshirts from um, the Greek store that they're selling this week, but because I don't own any hoodies. Isn't that a crime? I know, so everyone go get a hoodie. Uh, but yeah, you can just par pair a, I am like, ooh. you can just pair a hoodie with some biker shorts. And again, kind of that looser baggier top with biker shorts, um, I think is a really cute look. And again, it's very comfy, but still stylish to me. So now for something a bit more dressy. Um, I paired biker shorts with actually this little uh, white bandeau from H&M, I believe. Um, I actually, this is the top, a <laughs> little. So a white bandeau, um, I had to put an elastic in the back because I have really big shoulder blades, fun fact. Um, and then I put this nice blazer on top of it. I actually thrifted this bad boy and it came with a pair of pants all for $5 from Goodwill. So this is one of my best finds ever. I love it so much. I don't know, I love this look because it's very um, casual yet so chic and effortless. I feel like I look like a New York um, fashion magazine editor just walking down the street drinking like a iced coffee or, or whatever, you know? It's so effortless and um, stylish and yet it was such an easy look to create. For the final section we have layering which typically kind of as I mentioned earlier I think of layering more as kind of a winter fashion look but um, I also believe that layering is great for getting more wear out of your clothes because it just gives you more combinations to work with um, kind of a new creative way to look at your clothing and to not feel so much like wow I've worn this shirt a ton but I haven't worn it with a turtleneck underneath it. So that's kind of how I like to <laughs> view layering. So for the first look, we have the classic sweater vest, which no sweater vests aren't just for like um, nerds anymore. <laughs> They're definitely very much a fashion, um, very popular mainstream fashion piece now. So I actually thrifted this sweater vest from um, Arizona, Trading Co uh, Arizona Trading Co, the place where I sell my clothes, and I got it for $1, just $1. So I'm really proud of that. But yeah, I just layered it with a white t-shirt, actually this very white t-shirt underneath. I would recommend wearing something, especially like this baggy with a bigger sleeve. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's so cute, very academia. Um, and it's of course, like I said, great for winter as well, but it can also work for spring. I'm making it a rule that yes, you can wear a sweater rest in the spring. So for our next layered look, I love doing this so much. It's layering like a long sleeve or something underneath a short sleeve. So in this look, I have a white t-shirt from Primark, which is like um, the, I guess I would say the Forever 21 equivalent in Europe, so I got this while I was studying abroad. Um, and then I layered this like striped white uh, long sleeve from Forever 21 underneath. I almost sold it as well, this long sleeve, but then I was like, oh my God, this is perfect for layering. So yes, I really love this look. And again, I paired it with the same H&M jeans and beat up Converse. And I feel like it just gives a good, like little 90s vibe to it, I don't know, so. And so my last um, layering piece is actually layering, again, a nice little white tee, this one right here, underneath a dress. And so I have this dress also from Primark that I got while I was studying abroad. It was like $13, I think. Um, and I think that layering dresses with t-shirts, first of all, is just super popular. I see it all the time. But honestly, I like it more than just wearing this dress as is, even though it is a very pretty dress. And it's not just because of the modesty of like covering up more because I don't care about that so much as I just think it's so cute and fun to have a little white t-shirt underneath. It just, it adds fun. And also you could categorize this technically in the um, floral pattern since it's kind of this white and red um, floral design as well. So yeah.